So as uh, the presenter said, I'm Maito Ruano and I work at uh, Aplas Idiada, which is a global company that uh, provides engineering services to car manufacturers all around the globe. We have uh, more than 200 uh, offices uh, in all the world and uh, more than 2,000 uh, workers. Uh, I work in the electronics department. Uh, we usually work on uh, uh, R&D um, uh, European projects. And uh, we have collaborated with, uh, with Ericsson to, to be able to bring uh, this tool I'm going to, to present today. Uh, so to be able to present this tool, I have first to introduce uh, a glossary of terms. Um, how many of you know what is ITS? OK, only the Ericsson guys. Quite good. <laughs> Uh, who knows who, what is uh, TTCN3? Okay, more people. And uh, where is Titan? Maybe you have heard in another presentation. Good. Okay. So we will present these terms, and uh, then I will explain how we have developed this uh, tool to be able to test ITS communications. So ITS uh, or intelligent transport systems are uh, are uh, communications mid vehicles. This means uh, we integrate uh, normal communications that we, we could, that the, one, the ones we should have in our mobile phones, and we made the vehicles communicate with infrastructure. This is traffic lights or even uh, traffic signs, uh, intersections. Uh, we also made the vehicles communicate with other vehicles. This enables a full range of new applications that, uh, that will enable, of course, uh, in the near future, autonomous vehicles. And um, also, they enable uh, vehicles to be more safe and also to be more environmental friendly. Some of these applications are, uh, for example, there's one really, really cool application which you have connectivity with uh, traffic signs or traffic lights, sorry. And uh, the traffic lights uh, transmit their phase. This is the state of the traffic light, if it's red, green, or uh, orange. And they tell you how many times they will per, uh, be in that state. So your vehicle can compute, okay, if I keep 50 kilometers per hour, I will find all my traffic lights in front green. So uh, it, it improves uh, traffic efficiency in a, in a way. Also, there are other applications like in intersections. You may not even need uh, traffic lights anymore. Uh, if you know the, the positions and speeds of the other vehicles approaching the intersection, you can automatically uh, regulate your um, your speed and uh, enter the intersection without having to stop. Um, we can also do platooning. This is uh, put all the uh, vehicles in a, in a train in one lane so close to each other that they are able to, uh, to save uh, petrol. Uh, this means you can avoid uh, the friction of the air if you go close, really close to another vehicle and you can save petrol. This is especially useful for, uh, for transportation of, 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 um, of um, mercaderies. Uh, well, and many other applications. So the ITS protocol stack, stack is, uh, it was developed by, by Etsy. And uh, it, it has, uh, well, these this, uh, layers. We have the transport and networking layer, which is, we have a geonetworking, which is, um, will be the equivalent of more or less the equivalent of IP in, uh, in internet protocol, but instead of using bytes as addresses to say uh, where the packets you, where do you want to send the packets, you use the location of a vehicle to, to, to send the packets. I mean, you can tell, okay, I want to send uh, packets only in a radius of uh, one kilometer, and all the vehicles in, inside that radius will receive your messages. Then we have the basic transport protocol, which is, um, the equivalent of, uh, of uh, UDP in, in IP, just um, receiving and sending ports. And then we have the facilities, which are the uh, layers that enable uh, these kind of applications to work. They include uh, the messages we transmit to other vehicles or to infrastructure, or the infrastructure to our vehicle, uh, to, uh, to send the speed of the vehicle, um, the uh, the position, uh, we can also send, for example, if there is some roadworks warning ahead, the infrastructure can tell you that and, and you can uh, react. We can, you can display a message in your vehicle to see, uh, to, to, to warn the vehicle that there will be roads, uh, roadworks ahead. And also you transmit with the SPAT and map, you transmit uh, um, 
information about the uh, geometry of the intersections and the phase and timing of, uh, of, this, of the traffic lights. Finally, you have, of course, the security uh, layer, which is uh, the one uh, that uh, takes care of encrypting and uh, decrypting the, uh, the messages. So this is a visualization of the uh, stack I have, uh, have just uh, described. Uh, the access layer is quite flexible. You can have uh, 3G or 4G uh, uh, networks as, uh, as access layer, but uh, the most common approach that's taken in the industry, in the industry is to go to ITSG5, which is a, modif a modified version of, of normal Wi-Fi. It is uh, 802.11a, it's a modification which is uh, called 802.11p, which has into account uh, the Doppler effects given the velocity of the of the vehicles. Uh, you, after that, you have the network and transport pro uh, protocols, and you have then the facilities. On top of that, of course, you have the applications you can build. So, what is TTCN3? TTCN3 is, is a test definition language that's uh, specially made for uh, for uh, black box testing and, of course, test automation and reusability. It's, uh, it was developed by, by Etsy. Uh, it, it's unambiguous. I mean, uh, it's difficult to find cases where uh, the, the, test, the test case is not well defined, and it's easy to learn. It's, it's um, probably close to Java. And um, there's the possibility of, of compiling this test case um, normally by translating them to another language like C++ or Java, and then compiling them in, on a machine. Uh, once you have that compiled, you can run it and send these messages to another machine, the system under test, and see the interaction within them. So as I said, this is a standard language, and uh, a lot of, uh, at least, the, uh, the standards that uh, Etsy is developing are, are being uh, ported to uh, TTCN3, so it's easy to, to, to build them in another tool and test them. Um, it's abstract, so uh, it's independent of platform, but of course, you can compile them and run them, and, run them, and it, it has uh, built-in uh, parallelism and built-in communication handling. This means uh, you can run a lot of processes at the same time, and of course, it has all the tools you need uh, to test uh, if the um, sending or receiving of the messages was okay, either by uh, timeouts or if the uh, message was uh, not correctly uh, uh, built it, or it, you have uh, unexpected responses. So where is Titan? Titan is uh, a tool set uh, which was, uh, has been uh, developed by Ericsson and has been, has been uh, used there for more than uh, than, uh, than 10 years, I, I believe. And, um, and, it's, and it's made to, to support these uh, TTCN3 languages, uh, language, uh, sorry, and uh, it, uh, it allows you to build it and run it and uh, configure all the parameters you need to change uh, the execution of, of the test cases. Uh, as input formats, well, it, it, it supports, as I say, TTCN3, also the uh, traditional SN.1, uh, Erx, uh, SCD, and, uh, and, uh, and, and many others. So this is more or less the, the workflow of Titan. Uh, you input uh, the XD or a TTCN3 uh, module, and the Titan compiler is uh, responsible of uh, transforming this uh, TTCN3 module to, uh, to C++ source code. Uh, when you have the C++ source code, you can also integrate your own source code. I, I mean, you can, uh, for example, generate your own ports for Titan and integrate them in, integrate them in your uh, TTCN3 modules. And once you have all your C++ code, you can, uh, you can build that executable and run it. So Titan is really flexible. Uh, traditionally, it worked with, uh, with uh, IP protocols, but it has been extended to work with uh, ITS, as I explained, and IoT-specific uh, protocols. Also, it will be uh, extended for to support uh, Canvas. So um, the ATS uh, test suite is a test suite based on the standard uh, behind ATS uh, that has been developed in TTCN3 by Etsy. So um, this is really good because the same organization that is writing the standards is writing also the test cases. So it's almost plug and play to take a standard and check the conformance testing against it. Um, the problem is that this uh, test suite has been developed with, uh, uh, in Java, 
and this is the part with uh, the test adapter and codecs. So uh, the problem is how do we make it work with Titan if Titan is using C++ code? So this is more or less how the IT ITS test suite uh, looks. We have the common library, which uh, Etsy uses for all the other uh, um, uh, test cases they have. And uh, on top of that, they build the ITS library, which then they build on top of that, they build the application for the conformance testing. This all uh, left part is, uh, is uh, written in TTCN3, so it's portable to anywhere, but we have the system adapter and the codec, which are the responsible uh, to communicate with the uh, machine that's going to perform the, uh, the testing. Uh, this, this is written in Java. And it's, it's a platform and uh, also operative system and, and, uh, and tool uh, dependent. So this is more or less how the ITS, uh, ITS test system uh, works and how it's validated. You have the SUT, which is the system under test, which has your stack of ITS. And then you have two channels of communications. Uh, one channel works through UDP, which is the one that's uh, sending to the uh, system under test uh, the actions you want them to perform. For example, I want my SUT to send a CAM message uh, with this field at this location uh, via general geonetworking. And then the SUT responds through the, uh, through the uh, lower layers link, which is the G5 link, and, uh, and, uh, and tries to give an answer to that. And then with the, your TCCN3 uh, executable and Titan, you can check if that it's working or not. So uh, what we did to, to, to be able to migrate this uh, Etsy uh, test suite? Um, we have three options. Uh, the, one, the first one was to rewrite the full test adapter in C++, but this had many cons. The first one uh, an evident was that it's really time consuming. Uh, and also it requires a lot of testing. We are changing the full written uh, uh, Etsy and Java adapter, and then we should have had to test that again. Uh, you are modifying the test suite, and that's not good because, in fact, it's good that Etsy uh, itself is writing the, uh, the, uh, the test suite. The pros, well, it's a native solution and simpler once it works. Um, the second solution was to use uh, JNA wrap wrappers uh, to perform the calls between C++ and, uh, and Java code. This um, was okay, it was not really complicated, but the problem is that it may be difficult to debug if there's any problem, because it could introduce uh, threading issues. Uh, and the last one, which was the one we would decide, as uh, Titan is so, um, so flexible, we thought about implementing uh, sockets inside them so they can communicate, communicate with, a, with a class in Java we built on top of the, of the Etsy test adapter. Um, it's simple, it's uh, easy to test, and it, it, it doesn't uh, put modifications on the, on the uh, test, uh, Java test adapter. So this is how it looks like, our, our tool. Um, the TTCN3 is put, uh, test suite is put into the Titan compiler. The Titan compiler generates, generates the C++ code, and in this C++, C++ code, we introduce the uh, sockets uh, I mentioned earlier. Uh, this is one socket for every layer of the, uh, of the test suite, and um, we communicate these sockets with, uh, with a Java uh, class we build on top of this, uh, of this original uh, test adapter of Etsy. So uh, I think I'm sure quite short of time, but uh, conclusion and results. Uh, we built uh, a conformance test suite, and uh, it has been already tested with uh, R&D European projects. We have even found some bugs in uh, commercial products that are already in the market, and, uh, and we helped to solve them. Um, this, uh, these automated interoperability tests are, are, are planned to be developed by uh, by, uh, by Etsy and, uh, in, the f in the following years. And, um, and also there are plans to, to, to take this, uh, this uh, Java test adapter to build it uh, to C++, to tra translate it to C++ to be able to work natively with, uh, with Titan. So thank you very much. Any question?
All right, so we have two questions in the queue. Um, the first one is, which characteristics make the TTCN3 suitable to test IDS or other similar systems? Um, probably the, f the first one is that um, all IDS systems um, sh will and should uh, rely on the same stack. Uh, so TTCN3 allows the automation and reusability of, of, uh, of test cases. So if you have, for example, an onboard unit on a vehicle, and then you have a roadside unit on the infrastructure, you can use the same uh, code in TTCN3 uh, to test both devices. So it, I think that the main, the main, uh, the main um, uh, good thing about TTCN3 is this, that you, you can test different kind of devices with the same code. OK. The other one is, uh, how long did it take to rewrite the through test adapter? How many people worked on that? Um, so um, probably we have been two only at the beginning, but we have increased that to, to four or five, I guess, now. I don't know exactly because uh, we work one part in Idiada and one part on, on Ericsson. So uh, I, I can know the part of Idiada, but Ericsson, it, 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 well, it's more complicated to, to guess. Uh, 